What's up guys? I'm back. The flannels are back. It's winter in Canada and it's starting to get cold, but this video is all about the micro jib, a really interesting GoPro pole. In a nutshell, the micro jib is a premium GoPro pole with the added functionality of pan or tilt, depending on how you set it up. So it works just like a normal GoPro pole. It's got a handle, it's got two extension points, it can uh, compact and extend, and it's got a GoPro mount on the end for your camera. If you lock out the pan and tilt functionality using this front bolt, the, Go, the micro jib works just like a normal GoPro pole, allowing you to shoot selfies, chase footage, or anything else you'd shoot with a normal GoPro pole. If you're just looking for a GoPro pole, check out the GoPro pole buyer's guide to learn all the things you need to think about it's linked down there in the video description, but it's a premium feeling GoPro pole when it's locked out. But if you unlock this front nut, you get the real benefits of the pole and that's the ability to tilt in this case by holding the pole steady and rotating the handle. Now, this is two-handed operation. If you're gonna rotate or use this pole single-handedly, you're not gonna be able to take advantage of this pan and tilt functionality, but what's cool is that you can lock it out and do that, or if you just wanna go free hand, one-handed for a little bit, by gripping the pole, the grip up in the front here, this rubber part will actually attach the pole itself and allow you to get a very stable shot that isn't rotating. You can see as soon as I let go of this part of the pole, the pole rotates and because I'm just holding on to the handle. So the pole itself has two primary setups. You can set it up in tilt mode, like it is right now, and with this, sh this setup, you can get one of the shots, which I think is the really big selling feature, or one of the really big shots with this pole that you're gonna use over and over and over again. And it's actually gonna be useful for you putting into your edits, and that's the crane shot. So you can use it kind of like a jib or a crane. You can go really high and get an aerial shot facing down on your subject, and then you can slowly pan down, tracking them as you get down to the ground and end on a really low angle shot and of course it extends when you're doing that so you get uh, a proper high angle shot and a proper low angle shot and because of the wide angle lens on the GoPro camera you don't have to be that high or that low to really exaggerate this movement. So it's a really cool shot and it's something which if you're going to be shooting biking or skiing or snowboarding edits it's something which you can add in at the start. You can do a high low of your athlete at the beginning of the movie and it's a really cool professional looking shot. Now that's not to say that doing it with this micro jib is easy. It does take a fair amount of practice to get the timing and the panning and the smoothness all right so the shot really flows but it's one of those things you're gonna go out and you're gonna practice it a lot and then eventually you're gonna figure out how to do it and then when you get on site you're probably gonna do it three or four times and then be able to pick the best one out of it. The other mode you can set the camera up in is panning mode. So this is nice to do some really, what I would call trick shots. There are things that you can do with the pole. You're probably gonna do them when you get it because you're excited to try out the panning and tilting functionality, but then when you actually go and use them on an everyday basis, you're probably not gonna find you using them much. One of them is the round the world shot. So you hold the camera in front of you, rotate the camera and the pole so that you do a 360, but the camera continues pointing at the same object. It looks cool. It's a neat kind of shot, but it's not something that I'm gonna be including in all of, every, all of my everyday edits, but it is a neat shot. And then you can do these front to back shots, these flip shots. This is the camera in tilt mode. This is kind of neat. So you'd be facing forward with the camera like this and then hold the handle. And instead of um, rotating the handle, you're gonna rotate the pole like this and the camera's gonna flip from facing away from you to facing towards you again. It's a neat way to transition away from a pointing shot to a shot facing towards you. And then the final way, and this is actually one of the ones that I would say would be probably something that you would find yourself using the pan and tilt function I for every day is chase shot. So we all know that a GoPro pole is a really good tool for getting follow cam footage. Putting GoPro on a pole and follow camming someone with it is a pretty good way to get some stable footage in it that works pretty well. But what you can do is put the camera in pan mode and then you can follow them and instead of just having to point the camera, then you can actually pan the camera to look at them. In conclusion, the micro jib is a really interesting, unique piece of shooting hardware, and it's something that for the right person will give them really, really awesome shots with their GoPro camera. It isn't something that everybody needs. If you have a GoPro camera, you do not need one of these to get the full functionality out of your camera. If you already have a GoPro pole 
and you're looking for ways to get new and interesting shots and you think that that crane shot is something that you would be happy to be able to shoot, spend the money and pick one of these up because it is a premium feeling piece of hardware. But if you're just looking for a GoPro pole, it is premium and it will work like a normal GoPro pole, but you could probably fill your need for cheaper. But if you've got some extra money and you're looking for something darn cool for your GoPro camera, it is something worth looking at. Watching, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and check me out over on Instagram, Kyle Martin Tech over there. There's some awesome behind the scenes shots and some 15 second weekend projects to keep you busy through the holidays. Most of all guys though, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.